In this video, I want to show you how to move SQL Server database files from one location to another. So file moves are possible. Sometimes it's necessary to move your SQL Server database files or your transaction log files or both. You might want to be moving uh, your files to a larger drive. You might be moving to an upgraded or faster drive or they may be created in the wrong place. And so you just want to move them and put them in the, the directory where everyone's expecting them to be. The one thing you need to be aware of is you need to take your database offline for a period of time while you're moving the database files. And this offline time is going to be proportional to the size of the files that you're moving. Once the steps are involved, the first thing you're going to do is take your database. You're going to alter your database via some commands. And these commands are going to tell SQL Server where the new locations of the files are going to be. Then you're going to take your database offline. After you take your database offline, you're going to move those files using an OS command. Then you're going to bring your database back online. And last but not least, you're going to verify that everything's going OK. So you're going to look for the database status in uh, SQL Server Management Studio, as well as you can check your SQL Server log to make sure that there's no complaints in there. So here's an, a, some, an example. I've got a database, its name is MyDB, and I want to move it, move the uh, both the data and the log file to a new location. And so what I need to do is first, I need to set my database context to ma the master database. I have to run these commands with master database as the database context. And then I'm going to run the alter database command. So the first command here is moving the file, which has a logical name of mydb underscore data, and it's giving it a new file name. And this is your new location. So it's we're trying to move the mydb data file to f data and then give it the name mydb.mdf. And then the next command here is just moving the transaction log. So I am saying alter database mydb, modify file, and this is the logical name of the log file for mydb. And then I'm giving it the new location, which is going to be the L drive, log, and then mydb.ldf. And then after we're done with that, we're going to move those database files using an OS command. And then we just bring the database back online. So the next thing I'm going to do is take you guys through uh, an example in Management Studio. Okay, so we're in uh, Management Studio here, and I've got this database I've created here uh, named MyDB, as in the examples we've had before. The only difference is all my files are on the C drive because I only have a C drive on my laptop. But, but one command I think is uh, useful here that you can run is to find out the actual logical and physical names of the database files. So in this case, the, the logical names are mydb for the uh, for the main database file and then mydb underscore log for the transaction log. And then these are the current locations of those files. So this is a useful uh, table for you to query when you're doing uh, any any movement of data files. So now that we've got the logical names and the physical names of the database files, now we're ready to issue the command. So in my case, I want to move the main data file to C SQL data, which is a folder that I've created on my hard drive. And I want to just name the, the uh, main database file mydb.mdf. And so I'm going to issue that command. And I have to have master be my co database context when I run this command. And so that's done. So it's updated in the system catalog, but we have not yet actually physically moved the file. So next thing I'm going to do is update the location of the transaction log. And I need to change the name here to by db underscore log, because that's the name that we've got here for the logical name of the log. And here we go. We're going to run that command. And so now it's telling me that this location, C SQL log, does not exist. It's not a valid directory. So I'm just going to go to my C drive, take a look at what I've got here. Oh, it's named SQL logs with a plural. So we're going to change that. 
and there you go. So now we've got everything updated in the system catalogs, but we have to actually move those files. So the next thing I'm going to do is set the database offline. Okay, sometimes you need you have to use uh, some optional modes on the end of this to force that database to go offline. So you'd be like roll back, rolling back all any active transactions or anything like that. Since nobody's using my database, I don't need to do that. So now we're ready to move the files. So here's the location of the files. So you see that path that we saw before. And so the MyDB and the log file, the MDF and the log file are sitting in the same directory right now. We're going to actually move them to different locations. So here we've got CSQL logs. We're going to put that log file in there. And we're going to put the data file in CSQL data. And again, this is all going to be the time required here is going to be proportional to the size of the files. So I got very small files here. You know, this is eight megabytes, and the log file was also eight megabytes. So, you know, these are really small files. So, this is really quick. So, now the next thing I need to do is now that we've got the physical locations changed, is just bring the database back online. And then you're going to refresh. In here to make sure that the database is online and then you can go check your sql logs and just make sure there's no complaints in there so here you can see that we we shut down this the database and then started it up and that's it that's it for today's video thanks for watching i hope you guys learned something please like the if you did please like the video consider subscribing add your questions and comments below and hey please share uh, the channel, if it, either this video or another video you may have watched that you think somebody else might uh, benefit from, please share. Um, and as, as always, if you have questions, drop them below, and I'll try and uh, answer them in a video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.